The Apollo GX navigation receivers provide the novice and the veteran IFR pilot alike with a wealth of in-route and approach information to help ensure safe, accurate, and confident IMC flight day or night. GX series IFR operations are categorized as in-route, approach transition, and approach active. In-route operations begin at takeoff and end 30 nautical miles from the destination. In-route operations include normal in-route navigation, plus loading the instrument approach for your destination airport. At 30 nautical miles out, the receiver enters the approach transition phase and asks if you want to enable the approach you've loaded. If you select enter, the instrument then enables the approach and asks for the local altimeter setting. Once the approach is enabled, the GX series receiver provides prompts and other information until you reach the final approach fix. At the final approach fix, the receiver automatically switches to approach active, where it remains until you reach the missed approach point. As you pass the missed approach point, the GX receiver switches back to the approach transition phase and provides additional information whether you decide to land or perform the published missed approach procedure. But let's return to our starting point and begin with in-route IFR operations. Before departure, you will already have selected your in-route and destination waypoints and entered them as a flight plan. You may also select and load an anticipated approach from the database into your active flight plan before departure, or you may do so in route. However, you can only select an approach for the last waypoint in your active flight plan. The Apollo GX receiver assumes the last waypoint to be your destination, so it must also be an airport. All right, here comes our clearance. Clear to SeaTac, River 6 departure, then as filed, maintain 900,000. Arch frequency will be 133.0. While we're waiting for our release, let's say one more word about safety. Ultimately, safe IFR flight depends on the pilot's familiarity with the function and proper use of all the instruments. It's important that you train yourself regarding what each key and knob will do before you begin using your GX receiver in actual instrument conditions. That's why we recommend that you set up a training program of your own to fly a number of approaches in VFR conditions and to ensure that you can operate the receiver and use its displayed information properly before you fly in actual instrument conditions. It is a good idea to load the flight plan before takeoff, though not necessary. You can load a flight plan at any time, as the GX receiver's nav function will continue to work any time you are in flight. Then we'll select to activate the plan and enter. The display shows your destination and the distance. If the flight plan is already active or once you have made it active, press select to load an approach. Pressing enter will list the approaches. Turn the small knob to preview all non-precision approaches available at your destination. When you find the approach you anticipate flying, press enter and the approach is stored and will be waiting for you when you near your destination. It's best, though not necessary, to enter it at least 30 nautical miles from your destination. Now press NAV to return to the navigation mode.